And now, Death Valley Days. I have another interesting true story for you about the historic Death Valley country. Reading, writing, and arithmetic, the three R's. But in the mining camp school at Ubehebe, which is the scene of this story I call Dear Teacher, there was a fourth R. R for ruction. And how? Quiet! Quiet! Stop it! Stop it this minute! Quiet! Quiet in this room! Order! Quiet! committee today. A man with no kids in school, and you're not even married. Well, I happen to go to Cornell University, and this fellow hails from there. Mm, Easterner, eh? Nobody around these parts would take the job. Devin Prentice, class of 93. the schoolmaster. The name is confusing. I'm always receiving letters addressed, dear sir. Oh. Well, suppose we go where we can talk more easily. Which is your luggage? These three. By the way, my name is Alex Gaynor. I'm superintendent of the mill. How do you do? She won't last half a day. She won't even open school. Mr. Gaynor is absolutely right. Be like throwing the Christians to the lions. The children can't be that bad. They've run seven teachers out of town already. Eight. You can count the notches on the desk. It's very kind of you to be so concerned about my welfare, but I can't go back now. And I need the position. So in spite of everything you say, I want to try the teaching. But, Miss Prentice. Please. Could you have a room here with you, Miss Doty? Well, uh... I don't usually sleep, folks. Just eat them. But, uh, all right. Oh, thank you. You have a lot of courage. So do the early Christians, but the lions finished them just the same. Oh, go on right in. I'll be with you in a minute. What does she look like? Tight size. You gonna break her spectacles, Tiny? She don't wear spectacles. She doesn't? But she's old, isn't she? Nope, she's young. Young? And pretty. 
pretty. Good morning. left with only five legs and four eyes between them. Aren't you awful? Begin with a morning prayer. Bow your heads, please. Every morning, mercy's new. Fall as fresh as morning dew. Every morning, let us pay tribute to the early day. For thy mercies, Lord, are sure. Thy compassion doth endure. Amen. Our women. <laughs> we'll begin with taking the roll. Then we'll arrange classes. Gladys Murtaugh. Present. Put that ball away, boy. Put that ball away, boy. Proceed with a roll call. Thomas Ruggles. Here. Richard Sloat. Richard Sloat. Here. Jeannie Simmons. Present. You have a busy day, Mr. McEwen? Quite a busy. Then you must be hungry. Thank you. Well, that's why. Mm. Well, uh, how did things go? Very nicely. I was thinking of you all day. Nicely? I think they're going to be an interesting group to work with. Stimulating. Yeah, that's a new word for it. And most responsive. You mean you had no trouble with them? It's all in the initial approach. Do you hear that, Miss Doty? They behaved. Just like a cat playing with a mouse. Just wait. Potato? If I were you, I'd arm myself with a ruler. A good big one. Oh, I couldn't strike a child, Mr. Gaynor. I'd like to speak to the teacher. What is it? You know very well what it is. You couldn't keep a thing like that a secret very long. She threatened the children with a gun. A gun? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Gladys came home and told me. Fired it, what's more. Point blank. I was just trying to break up a ball game. The boys wouldn't stop, so I aimed at the ball. And what did you hit? The ball, of course. In midair. Well, I'll be everlastingly. We got an Annie Oakley with us. Gladys was still shaking with fright, poor lamb. I'm sorry. But I'm sure there won't be an occasion to do it again. There had better not be, or we shall take our children out of school.
you, but in a case as serious as this, I would suggest that you I've go... I've already and... looked. It isn't in her room. It isn't? No. Are you sure? Positive. Then she's taken it to school, and she'll use it on the slightest provocation. That's a dangerous woman for you. If I was you, I wouldn't have an easy moment with her under the same roof. Bring you something, Miss Prentice. A present. Cartridges? Oh, dear me. We bring you these so you could put on a shooting match for us. You brought me these so I could put on a shooting match for you. Yes, and that's why we bring them. Will you, teacher? Please? Yeah. Certainly not. Aww. At recess. I'll let you shoot this out of my mouth, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Miss Prentice. This is a school, not a shooting gallery. We've got lessons to learn. Spelling, geography. We'll learn them. Honest. All right. You do, and then we shoot. When? How soon? Well, say the end of each week. <laughs> but only for those who behave themselves and gotten good marks. Now, pass out the study books and we'll get to work. May wish I was back in school again. Why, our old cross-eyed school teacher couldn't have hit the side of a barn. Won't you ever take anything seriously, George? <laughs> Suppose she suddenly decided to point that gun at Gladys. She won't. If Gladys behaves herself. She's got an awful funny look in her eye. I think she's kind of crazy. Do you hear that, George? She might go berserk. Now, don't start using words I can't understand, Delia. Remember, I didn't get beyond the fifth grade. Maybe she'll hold evening classes for blokes like me. Maybe you go hunt with us sometime. Yeah, I know there's a lot of rabbits and quail, too. I bet you wouldn't miss a one. <laughs> Thank you, boys. See you tomorrow morning. Bye, Bye. Merrily. Bye. Bye. Hello. Got a meeting out of your hand with your little gun, haven't you? <laughs> you know, they didn't give courses in marksmanship to co-eds when I went to Cornell. <laughs> It was my father who taught me. He used to take me out to the lake on Saturdays. We'd practice for hours. Well, that's funny for a girl. He'd always hope for a son. That's how I got the name I did. Heaven. Well, if you had been, you wouldn't have been here now. No. I'd be back home, trying to help him salvage something from the crash. He lost everything in the panic last summer. I'm sorry. No. That's why I'm so grateful for this opportunity. There aren't many openings for teachers middle of the year. Well, I'm, I'm sure you'll make good. I hope so. I'll help you any way that I can. Thank you. I need friends. Mom! What are you doing with those bottles? None of your business. You selling them to the jack man? No. Then what? Ah, oh, shut up. Don't come tagging after us. Why not? Because we don't want you, savvy. Maybe we should get some tin cans, too. Too easy. Even bottles ain't much of a target for a shot like her. Come next Saturday, we'll set them up way off in the back fence and stick candles in them and let teacher put them out one by one. Yeah. Ping, ping, ping. person's breath smell like when they've been drinking? Smell your father sometime. Well, I like that. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? It's just like her smell. Whose? The teacher's. Miss Frederick? 
Miss Prentice? George, did you hear that? Oh, I don't believe it. It's Gladys Sisso. Children imagine things. Of course. It could have been a sarsaparilla bottle she was hiding. Where? In the stove at school. You saw her? Please, Ma, I'm trying to do my spelling. Going over to Miss Doty's for a few minutes. Some more pie, Mr. McEwen? Uh, say it again, Miss Prentice, so we can learn. Multiplication is vexation. Division is as bad. The rule of three perplexes me. And, and fractions is driving me mad. <laughs> I just learned something more about our dear teacher. She drinks. Drinks? Gladys saw her hiding the bottles. Well, I never... George refuses to get excited, but I think it should be investigated. It certainly should. Will you go with me? Right now. General Grant. There's a whole bunch of them in there. You don't suppose that they could have been left there by some of her predecessors? Oh, no. Gladys saw her putting them there. She must have been having regular orgies. This settles it. She'll have to go. A school teacher who packs a gun and drinks. I'll circulate a petition among the parents. The mothers. Naturally. It won't be necessary to mention it to the men. And I shall give her notice to vacate her room. You mean, I'm going to have to find another place to live? That's what I said. I don't understand. You will before the day is out. Gladys, I'm going to school with you this morning. Uh, Ma! I don't feel very good all of a sudden. What's the matter? I get a headache and a sore throat. <coughs> Maybe I better not go to school this morning. Well, not if you're coming down with something. I hate to miss. It won't matter much. George, I'm going to drive over to Ruby Valley with those engineers from Denver. I won't be back till evening. Well, I'll tend to things. Well, school's still keeping. Why not? Well, I understand they're having some trouble. The well, women folk are up in arms about the teacher. That ridiculous gun business? More than that. There's talk about... Well, there's some claims she tipples. That's a lie. I don't believe it myself, but you know how women are once a rumor gets started. Who started the rumor? Search me. Well, I'll make it my business to find out as soon as I get back. Bow your heads. Every morning, mercy's new. Fall as fresh as morning dew. Every morning, let us pay tribute to the early day. For thy mercies, Lord, are sure. Thy compassion doth endure. Amen. Good morning, Mrs. Murtaugh. I hope Gladys isn't sick. I know that she is, but that's not why I'm here. I think this document will explain itself. What in the world? We'll begin with penmanship this morning. Take out your pencil tablet. Children! 
Children, there will be no school this afternoon. Is Mr. Gaynor in? Well, he's away, out of town. Oh. I'm Miss Foreman. Anything I can do for you? No. Is there any message you'd like to leave? I'm afraid not. Was well, something wrong? Oh, I say. And fit to teach the young. What do they mean? What do they mean? Now, don't upset yourself. But it's so awful. My first position. I'll never be able to get another. There, there. Now, we'll straighten it out. Don't you fret. Delia. There isn't anything you'd stop at, is there? It'll be a week tomorrow. And we've behaved ourselves. Yeah, and studied hard. I can name the capitals of all the states. Boys, I'm sorry. Oh, but you promised, Miss Prentice. I won't be here tomorrow. I'm leaving. Leaving? You mean for good? There won't be no shooting match? Why? What's happened? I can't explain it, but that's the way it is. Where's she going? What for? Oh, quick, past her to me. Why is she leaving all of a sudden? Oh, don't act so darn innocent. It's all you kids' fault. You drove her to drink. That ain't so. Miss Prentice don't drink. No? Well, they found the evidence. Bottles hid in the school stove. Bottles? Those was our bottles. How'd they know they were there? Gladys, she met us, remember? I'll bet she followed us, a little sneak. Yeah, then blamed it on Miss Prentice, just to start something. He just like her. Come on. What is it, Tiny? Please tell me. No, sir. It's a surprise. Just wait. You'll see. Tiny says you got something for me. What is it? A rattlesnake. Your tongue shall be split, and every little dog in town shall have a little bit. You've seen us put those bottles in the stove. Said they was the teacher. No, no, I didn't. I didn't see you put them in there. I never said a word. You tell the truth, or I'll let this out. You wouldn't. You're just fooling. You think so? No, no. Then fess up quick. You did spy on us. Yes, yes, I did. Don't let it out. And you made them think it was Miss Prentice. Yes. Let it go. behind the wood box. We'll get it later. We ain't finished with Gladys yet. Come on. Where's Miss Prentice? I don't know. She came by the express depot and asked me to pick up her bag. Miss Doty here? No, she's gone over to Murtaugh's. If you were my child, Gladys Murtaugh, I'd take you over my knee and beat the stuffings out of you. Her father will take care of her when he comes home. Mm, here he comes now. Oh, Mr. Gaynor. Where is she? Where's Miss Prentice? Over at the school, getting her things. Of all the cruel, unwarranted... You can save your breath, Mr. Gaynor. We know the truth now. Gladys has just confessed. <laughs> and what's more, she's going with us right now and apologize. We all owe her an apology. Come on, Mr. Gaynor. I'll tell you all about it on the way over. I'm sorry I like Miss Prentice. I'll never do it again. Ask her to forgive you. Please forgive me. Don't move, Gladys. Don't make a sound. A bullseye. Shut the head. Clean off of it. Gee, we got our shooting match. Let me pick it up and show it to this friend. Oh, please don't. I can't even stand to look at a snake. What she needs is a good stiff drink. I could use one myself. From that time on, they dropped the R for Ruxin from the Yubihibi school curriculum. And indeed, from the whole community as far as dear teacher was concerned. <laughs>